Welcome to the office for today. Essentially, we have all of these sunflower stalks in this last year's harvest still standing right here and we essentially just want to lay them all flat like this pass next to me if you can see that can't really plant on top of stalks sticking straight up like that so we lay them down first with the harrow then we'll disc them later sideways on what I'm doing right now and that'll chop up the sunflower stalks and in a couple years never to be seen again so this is I guess technically the third day that we're out in the field. We're on that later. It's time to turn. Okay, auto steers engaged. We're going to the other end again. We do have a bit of a wrinkle in the field work and all the plans that we had. We knew we weren't gonna be, you know, seeding everything right now this early in April. It's a pretty early planting season for North Dakota anyways, uh, but they, kind of change the weather on us a bit and uh, we're gonna have some cold days coming up and we don't want to plant yet because of those cold days with a lot of wind maybe some frost even and weather down in the 20s at night or 30s during the day a little cold so we're gonna wait out this little cold front and then plant when it gets a little bit nicer with wheat being first on the to-do list so we can get this stuff done and keep on pressing through to uh, carry out our plan, Harrow Disc Plant. All right, a little windy out here, but hopefully you can hear me all right. This is the Harrow all laid down just so you guys can See it. This is a Brant arrow, and uh, here's the field. Everything's laying down flat, and uh, sunflowers stalks are all down. Now we'll just use the disc to chop these up. Should be good to go. And this is the only field I'm doing today uh, for this harrowing. Now the next few days will be a little bit colder. Maybe not in the field. But uh, anyways, it's Friday today. It's Stir Friday. Stir Friday. And I'm gonna head home. So let's get this thing folded up, head down the road, and finish out the day. But not the video. made it back home from Le Field and uh, I'm ahead to stir Friday. I'll check in with you guys in a couple days, which will be the next day I'm here on the farm and uh, we'll resume the video there. This one's not over, uh, but knocked out that sunflower field, knocked down those stalks and I will check in with you guys pretty soon. Stay tuned.
guys, it is the next day here in this video, and it's official. We're back in the field. We started the video on Friday, and you know, I was in the field doing some harrowing with the sunflower stalks. We kind of thought that was just gonna be like the only field work we were gonna do uh, because of this cold weather coming up. It is a wrinkle, but we're pressing on. We're actually fertilizing. You saw the tarragator in use for the first time. This is the first time we've taken it out and actually used all the stuff we did to it, the auto steer and actually spreading with it. So it's in use. We're doing this field right here in front of me, pretty close to our yard, close to the church over there. And it seems to be working pretty well. After you spread fertilizer, you do have to get it into the ground pretty quickly, unless it's going to rain and kind of push it in. We're in that drought. It's not gonna rain until maybe later this week, hopefully and it might even be snow. But because of that, we're going to have to work in this fertilizer and I'm gonna be in the harrow again, as I was earlier in the video, working in that fertilizer. Uh, we're using the harrow instead of a cultivator, chisel plow, or disc, just to kind of save churning that dirt too much. And then when we plant, we will be digging it. So we're hoping that'll be the only time we have to actually cultivate the soil. So my dad is coming back of doing his little end pass here. I was flying the drone. I'm gonna hop in with him and kind of ride along because this is the first time we've been out with the Terragator. Kind of learn the ropes, see how it works inside when it's actually in use and on the job. And then I'll drive back home with Piper and we'll get in the Harrow and work on this field here. Interrogator for the first time we have it out there. It seems to be doing a good job. Seems like we got pretty even spread here in the dirt. You can see all this fertilizer we're putting in. We go about 15, 16 miles an hour, which is cruising. And this field is pretty big, bigger than the one I did on Friday, and probably half done or more already since starting here with the spreader. He's gonna keep doing that. Time to work this fertilizer in. I'm gonna head home, get Piper. We're gonna head over in the Harrow. Start working this stuff into the dirt. Cool. Piper. Hi, baby. Do you wanna go work? Piper, Piper, you wanna go in the tractor? Wanna go along? I'll go long. Well, that'll slow us down. Oops.
everybody, what's going on? It's the next day, so it is Monday today, Monday evening, and we actually got a good amount of field work done yesterday, so kind of ended the video with a time lapse, and we continued to do that harrowing work, finished that field we were doing, went over and did another field to the south a little bit more, which is also going to be wheat, and popped the tire a second time, that'll happen, but otherwise, had a good day of field work. We didn't even expect to get done. So we actually were able to officially get back out in the field, even though we didn't really expect to because of the weather coming up. And if you guys can see, we did get it. I don't know if this means the drought is over officially or what, but it rained last night and now we have some snow blowing around. Some places in North Dakota got several inches of snow. We didn't, we just got a little dusting here and there, but uh, it's still coming down, so. Bad weather, it's cold, and it's wet, which is actually a good thing because we have been in a drought. Well, my arm's getting tired holding this chunk, so Everett and me are signing off today. Be sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and join me for the next one. Until next time, take it easy.